doesn't like having a little side hustle? I mean, just a hobby. Maybe like make a little money on it. And you're like, oh, this is fun. You know, I like doing this. Like my, I've create, I've turned my side hustle into my career is essentially what I've done over here. But everybody to each their own. You kind of got to find what, you know, what your niche is and uh, try and go for it. At least that's what I would usually encourage people when they ask me uh, for advice. This one, however, I would say, um, no, put a pause on it. This is probably not a good side hustle for you, like selling human remains from Ew. the halls of Harvard Medical School. Probably not a good idea. You know, this is something I think about, and, and I always, and I've had conversations with people about it over the years of the little box to check of, I'd like to donate my organs to science, not my whole body, but I'm, I'm cool with donating, you know, my parts. And I do, I, I have checked those boxes. I would not donate my whole body to science. I, I just don't like that idea. Personally, I'd like to be buried so that I can become a zombie someday um, and walk the <laughs> earth and terrify small children. But if I'm, you know, cut up in a medical facility or burned and I'm ashes, that prevents me becoming a zombie. So I'm going to stick with the possibility of being a zombie. Uh, but in an astounding breach of medical ethics and laws, seven individuals have been indicted on charge linked to the theft and sale of human, re human remains. And get this, from Harvard Medical School's morgue, of all places that you think this would not be happening, I would think Harvard. I would think maybe like, you know, Joe's uh, Emporium of... Uh, afterlife medicine in Paducah, Kentucky, which is an unaccredited uh, tech school, may be there, <laughs> but Harvard? Yeah, this is an Ivy League school, one of the hardest schools to get into their law program, just their regular college, one of the most revered institutions, and this shit's going on. Cedric Lodge, the ex-manager of the morgue, is at the center of this shocking scheme that sends shockwaves to the medical community and beyond. A joint statement from George Q. Daly, dean of the uh, faculty at medicine at Harvard University, and Edward M. Hundert, dean for medical education at Harvard Medical School, detailed the charges against Lodge and his accomplices, bringing into the open a horrifying operation that spanned several years and multiple states. Cedric Lodge, who's 55, was in a position of significant responsibility overseeing the anatomical gift program at HMS since 1995. His role involved mm. maintaining the anatomical morgue and teaching labs while working closely with faculty and students. But unbeknownst to his colleagues, Lodge was allegedly using his position to facilitate an illicit trade in human remains. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Middle District of Pennsylvania, Lodge would allegedly opened the morgue to buyers shopping for human remains and also steal body parts from cadavers before cremation. NBC Boston reports that this illegal operation ran from around 2018 to August 16th of 2022. Also indicted are Lodge's wife, Denise Lodge, 63, Katrina McLean, Joshua Taylor, Matthew Lampy, J uh, Jeremy Pauly, 41, and Candace Chapman Scott. According to the indictment, the Lodges were instrumental in and the theft and sale of human remains. Taylor, for instance, allegedly paid over $37,000 to the lodges for human remains between 2018 and 2021 in a chilling transaction. Taylor allegedly sent Denise Lodge, quote, $200 with a memo that read, brains. Oh, my God. And a $1,000 memo, picture this on Venmo, reading, head number seven. The New York Times reported. Now I've got, okay, for some reason I have friends on Venmo and the shit they put in their little memo line. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I'm like, guys, <laughs> everybody's seeing this. You don't have it set to private and it's, it's pretty obscene and you just kind of get a chuckle and go whatever. But in this case, they were serious. And somebody who works in that field might look at that and go, oh, that's funny. They're just kidding around. <laughs> no. Brains. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, McLean, owner of a store called Cat's Creepy Creations in Peabody, Massachusetts. How oh, my God. How does this shit even happen? Allegedly stored the remains at her storefront, selling them to customers. She's also accused <gasps> of sending human skin to Pauly for tanning and turning into leather 
mid-2021. Who the fuck is turning human skin into leather other than Ed Gein? Oh, God. God. Uh, Cat's Creepy Creations is no longer on Instagram. I just looked. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping it to get some. It said it was taken down. Ready to get some holiday gifts there. Meanwhile, McLean, owner of a store. Okay, we did that. Paulie, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office press release, is suspected of purchasing the stolen remains and reselling them. His transactions with Lampy allegedly involve the exchange of more than $100,000 in online payments. Candace Chapman Scott uh, is also implicated in similar schemes in Arkansas. Hey, that's where I am, where she was indicted for selling and stealing body parts uh, from a mortuary and crematorium, CBS News has reported. The seven accused face serious charges with potential prison sentences. Here's what I think is crazy. Only up to 15 years have convicted. Well, so wow. It's not that harsh uh, at all. Attorneys for Taylor and Scott do not immediately comment on the charges. I'd love to be that attorney. Like, hey, can you defend me for me doing this shit? The, well, uh, I, yeah, I got I guess I have a car payment to make. I'll uh, take whatever I can get. The HMS uh, community is grappling with the shocking revelation. Daly and Hunter stated... We are appalled to learn that something so disturbing could happen on our campus, a community dedicated to healing and serving others. They called the reported incidents a betrayal of the HMS and individuals who donated their bodies to advance medical education and research. I would call it an extreme lack of oversight, uh, right. daily and hundred, um, that you were letting this shit happen for, oh, quite some time. Uh, not necessarily your fault, but it happened on your watch. Uh, echoing the widespread sentiment and disbelief and horror, U.S. Attorney General uh, Gerard M. Cram said in a statement, some crimes defy understanding. The theft and trafficking of human remains strike at the very essence of what makes us human. Uh, as this disturbing case continues to unfold, it serves as a stark reminder of the imperative uh, for stringent oversight and ethics in all aspects of the medical practice, even those that take place outside of the public eye. My God. So my my high school sweetheart, we ended up getting married and and it didn't it didn't work out. So you um, sold his parts online after you murdered him secretly? No, okay. he is still alive, okay, but good. he was in medical school when we got married mm -hmm. and I, I remember talking about the cadavers that, you know, these are bodies that are donated to science, that like for, a, a you know, advancing medical students and, and their learning process when they are done with those bodies, at least at the University of Minnesota Medical School, which is where this was. Mm -hmm. They held a ceremony to honor the body and the family. The family wasn't there because that's, you know, they don't want to see their loved one like that. They've already had but, their closure. Yeah. Exactly. But they they held a ceremony. It was very, you know, somber and everyone was dressed up and and they, you know, if you were religious, you said a prayer. If not, you were just thankful. It was it was very well done. And I um, didn't attend, but I heard about it. You respect um, the dead. You respect the body. I, I mean, I, I think the same thing should be done with animals, too. When and I'm, right. I, I eat meat. But I, you respect what you're you're taking in. And if you have a whole, you know, you, you try to make the most of it. If that's what you're going to do, you you don't disrespect it. You don't waste uh, because that animal gave its life for you. Uh, people, same damn thing. They gave they died and they're giving your body to their body to you to study and to help other people down the road. That's exactly it. And it's this is just such a, a breach of trust mm -hmm. and. You know, I'm wondering, was there anybody who saw anything going on and did they look the other way? Are there people implicated in this that we don't know about that? Hey, they saw some stuff going down. They saw some weird activity. Why is this body part being moved? It needs to stay here at the hospital. It needs to stay in the, the teaching facility. Why is it being moved? Why is it being packaged up? Where is it going? That kind of thing. I would think that... Uh, that will be uh, investigated and more people are going to be implicated in this. Um, I, I don't know anything about those heads that are speaking out and being, look, we're, we got him. Good. I'm glad you did. But how did this happen for so many years without any sort of oversight? What was missing in your system that allowed that to happen? Now, I believe you know the heads were not necessarily probably involved in something like this. I think that'd be crazy. 
Uh, but stranger things have happened. But at the same point, if this happened on your watch, it may be time to find a new job. So how did the um, how did the dinners go when you were uh, with your uh, first love and you were talking about, um, <laughs> you know, body parts and uh, and all of that? How did that uh, how did that play out? It was it was interesting. I'll be very honest with you. He checked out a skull. Mm. Which you could do, you know, they, they were old skulls and they were in a case and they were, you know, under lock and key and you could check them out and take them home and study them. And he left it on the kitchen table and it scared the <laughs> ever loving hell out of me. I, I can remember the blood curdling scream that I let out. It, it must have shook the entire block. And it was a real human skull sitting it on was. the table. Oh, yep. No. Uh, and he didn't mean anything disrespectful by it. He was studying. Sure. He walked away and, and went for a walk and I came home. Mm -hmm. There's the skull. You know, he just, he was going to put it away, but he didn't think I was going to be home when I was, you know, when I came home. So he wasn't expecting anybody. He was being respectful with it, but I just walked in and there's a skull sitting on the, on the kitchen table. It scared the shit out of me. Did you guys light some candles and have like a dinner over it or anything? And did like not. Did not. Like, no. this would be mm -mm. great. You know, it's, you know, just the two of you and Herb and, uh, or whatever, you know. Yeah, do, do they, Jeffrey. Do they tell you do, do, when you when you check out the skull, I'm assuming there's like some sort of documentation that comes along with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it give you the name of who it was or anything? No. Mm -mm. No, and I don't think they know that. I think it's all anonymous. The bodies, yeah, they absolutely know who that body was, I, I think. Somebody does. It's not like it came with a name, mm -hmm. but somebody, somebody in the, the records department somewhere knows, you know, that this is from this family, I would think. Look, Stacy, I just brought home this skull. Let's make chicken parm and eat over it and Ew. celebrate our love. No. <laughs> so not wow. what happened. Well, you have won the award for creating the creepiest idea of an at-home date that we've ever heard on the show. Excellent. So, congrats. I like to win Congratulations. Awards. This is the Thank Hidden you. Killers Podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad-free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers Podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.